in my ego. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so our last question comes from Deep Box, Ga- Deep Box Games, who says, my question is, if you have a good YouTube following, will that be something considered when applying for partnership on Twitch? Literally, yes. Yeah, it obviously yeah. means you know what you're, yeah. you know how to create some content and draw in an audience. I mean, depending on your following, you might be able to just be insta partnered. Like, if you're a big, mm. if you have a big following on YouTube, like reach out to Twitch because uh, they will work with you and like. That that is actually, I think, listed on their page. It's like if you yeah. have this many followers, or at like, least it used to be. It probably qualify. still is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. I mean, obviously, the bigger you are, the more pool you're gonna have. Uh. But when applying, like that's that's why having social media, having YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, that's all important things to grow because you know if you if you do want to apply for partnership, like you can show them like, hey, like you know, I've got fifty thousand Twitter followers. I want to get into streaming. They're gonna be like okay, like, we're going to help you. You're going to probably yeah. get personalized help, help get your channel set up. Get you want to do more than have metrics by themselves because they want to see why those metrics are valuable because you, right. yeah. you can inflate them in a number of ways. The numbers yeah. by themselves don't translate into value in the same way. And if anybody knows that, it's Twitch partnerships. They want to see where that value is and how it can translate. So you, you need to be able to showcase why those numbers matter but yes, those numbers matter as part of a puzzle that you are going to p- put together to show them for partnership. Yeah. It's, and I, it's at least, yeah, sorry. Oh, sorry. No, no, go on, Dan. You can no, no, I was just saying it's at least it's at least an eye catcher for partnerships. That's it. Sure. Yeah. I, I think it also goes for, it, the same thing goes for like uh, musicians, actors, stuff like that. They've come over to Twitch and they've been able to get um, partnership maybe um, with a little bit more help from Twitch because of yeah. who they are. Um, what they're doing, what sort of work they're into at the moment, and the following on social media, even. Um, a friend of mine, Brian Decker, uh, recently got, I think it was this week, he got, part- no, sorry, last week he got partnered. Connor. And he plays Connor from uh, Detroit yeah. Become Human. Connor Dad. Um, so, yeah, he, he recently got partnered, and obviously he's had an insane following on Twitch very quickly, um, just... Yeah as soon as he came across but stuff like that if you were to go to twitch and you were for instance an actor in a game or something like that or a musician they may without seeing you stream too much go well hang on yeah we'll help you with this Mm -hmm. um but it is always wise to try and get an idea of it first hence what brian did and he did amazingly with it um because you want to know more about it not just sort of roll in if that makes sense yeah because yeah i mean we all know we all have been on this this platform for a while you may be a very talented person but if you don't know how to don't know how to use that talent on twitch yeah. it's gonna yep. be cool yeah and i think to tie that in you know if you're thinking about applying for twitch uh things like if you have a patreon or like a game wisp and you have a lot of subs on there um that is something that i've advised people on in the past when applying for partnership uh if you've got like a, a notable number of subs on those of different platforms like that's important to them too like yeah. uh it's a little bit skewed from what you asked directly but i think it's good for people who are uh you know looking to to become partnered on twitch like if you've got like a hundred two hundred uh patreon subs like people twitch cares about that that's that could be money that they they get right so like that shows like you you're like okay like this is why you should believe in me because I have this many people already paying me money. Yeah. Uh, so I know that like being a partner, like, it translates like directly. this would work out. Right. Yeah. Right. Like you, you have a loyal following. I know how to um, work kid. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, you, you don't even have to be like famous or, you know, have a big social media following, but numbers like that are, are good. Uh, charity. If you raise money for charity, like, you're like, Hey, like, you know, my community raised $10,000 this year for charity. Uh, that's something that, that looks really impressive uh, when applying for partnership. Anything that you've done in terms of if you've been on pub- public panels or you've done hosting or anything else like those. This is a totally different question at this point, but those are things that will really make you stand out in your application. Yeah. If we have time, I think Swift brought up a good point. Um, Swift Mo brought up a good point. What if uh, Patreon subs have no correlation with your Twitch channel if these are two different things? Um, the point is that they're not just going to sub your Patreon just because you do, just because there's a specific thing that they want. That's a very low percentage. It could happen. It might happen. 
but they probably sub to you because they like you in general. So even if even if they have nothing to do with Twitch, even if they don't care about gaming and it's not a gaming right. Patreon, there's a good chance they're still gonna like you and like what you do. And then what's well, more, it shows that more. that you're you're capable of of taking advantage of the virtual space in order to yeah. you know generate exposure and leverage that into profit if in a very direct way. Um, that's simply, that's a, that's an easy way to show Twitch or another platform that you can do what they want you to do, whether or not it's on an identical in a one-to-one -one ratio, it doesn't, doesn't really matter as much. Um, if it's something that if I were looking at it, I'd be like, oh yeah, I mean, clearly they can put in the work. They know how to, uh, they know how to function in this kind of space. Um, they're familiar with this kind of market, uh, and the, and the industry it's, it, that's sure. Let's go. See what they can do. Yeah.